Well, good morning to our service this morning from the Beacon Church here at Camford Heath in Poole. My name is Keith and uh, I'm one of the elders and it gives me great uh, privilege to lead our service this morning. Whether you attend our services, or whether you're friends or family, or whether you have just accidentally stumbled across us in the, by the use of the YouTube, then you're more than welcome to join us this morning. This morning we are going to spend a time of reflection, a time of prayer, a time of worship and also sharing the Lord's Word. And during the service Vicky, our children's and youth pastor, will be joining us and sharing the parable about the lost sheep. Um, so that will be um, interesting uh, when she comes and joins us later. I know for a lot of us we're finding it really difficult that um, we can't come together as church in one building but with the different means of media that we can still share and come together on a, as a family it's, it's absolutely truly amazing and last week uh, Martin shared our time of communion a communion of coming together in our own separate households but still remembering the ultimate sacrifice that Jesus gave for each one of us now one of the normal traditions also is the time of um, celebrating at the beginning of each month birthdays and as this is the month of June, appreciate it, it's the second week in June, we normally ask that those who are celebrating a birthday in that particular month to stand. So it is, or if it is your birthday in the month of June, I ask you and invite you to stand um, as we are going to um, celebrate your birthday. So let's just see what's on the radio. One second. Happy birthday, everyone. Happy birthday indeed. Sing along if you know the words. Happy birthday to you. Every day of the year. May you feel Jesus. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. The best one you ever Uh, thank you to uh, Sarah and Matt for sharing our birthday song. If you tuned in last week, you saw that uh, Mark was out in the forest. In fact, he was out in the Purbeck Hills. In fact, he was very close to where Hans and Dorset Youth Camp tend to hold their annual gathering of um, our youngsters, our youth camps. But sadly, uh, due to the circumstances, um, we're unable to hold them. Uh, this year and look forward to coming together in uh, 2021. Interestingly, one of the first songs I've chosen uh, this morning is a song which uh, every time I hear it reminds me of camp sort of thing. So it'd be great if you can uh, sing along with that one. And then a second time is about it's really imagine how you are and how you feel at present. It's, it's a time of a reflection and what's happening in the world today. I don't know about yourself, but over the last few days, um, maybe the last week, there's a lot of unrest, uncertainty. But one thing we are always certain that God is always alongside us. He never leaves us. He's always with us. And I suppose it's times like this where we feel our most vulnerable. When we feel that you know, we're at risk, whether it's through COVID-19 or in our circumstances. I know that speaking to a lot of our members of the congregation, we're still uncertain about how, how we're going to continue, how we're going to move forward. And I just want to reassure you as, a, a, you know, as one of the team and the leadership of our church, is that we are looking into opening up the church, but it won't be for some time yet because we've got to make sure that all the proper measures are in place. So please pray into that and bear with us as we look forward. I think that it's now it's a, a time when we really should come together as a family in the church and spend time in prayer. Now I can ask you I have to pause this one as you pray within your family. You know, pray about the not only your family but your community and, and the world in general 
because I think there's so much happening at present. We've seen what's in the papers. We've read what's on, you know, has been in the newspapers. And, you know, there seems a lot of unrest, rightly or wrongly, there seems to be unrest at present. So as a church family, we should pray together. So I said, you can either pause now and pray as a family, and then I'll just finish in prayer before we then go and start our first session of worship songs. As I said, the first one's a bit lively, bouncing around and have a bit of time bouncing and getting excited to uh, share the worship together. And then the second time is build more of you reflective and more of a chance to think about how you and how I feel. So let's just pray. Let's focus on the Lord this morning as we start our service. So Heavenly Father, as we sit here and ponder where each one of us feel, our prayers go out to those who have suffered through COVID-19, for those who have lost loved ones, maybe family or maybe friends of. But Lord, also our prayers go out to those who are suffering due to illnesses, Illness, illnesses which may not be of COVID-19. Let's not forget those. Lord, also our prayers go out to the government as they start looking into the release of the lockdown and how life will um, become more open. But Lord, our prayers all must, must also go out to those who are still in isolation, who won't today have the opportunity to go out Heavenly Father, as uh, we do battle with our own personal thoughts, our own personal situations, that you will guide us and lead us and show us the way forward so as a church family we grow stronger and stronger to when we come to the other side. So Lord, as we reflect on the world today, I ask that your blessings and your love pour down on each one of us, but not only us as a church, but also as a, as a community and as a land, Lord. Lord, pour down your love on each one of those so they feel reassured, because I know you are there as I know that you will never leave us. So, Lord, as we come to worship, as we come to share your word, I ask that you come alongside each one of us, and I ask this in your name. Amen. 